One week. That's how long this Syrian family has been in the United States. They arrived just two days before Donald Trump was inaugurated. Hazar Mansour was a French teacher, her husband Hussam al Halik, an accountant. They fled from Damascus to Turkey with their children to escape the violence. After two years of background checks, they finally made it to Vermont. We were worried about ourselves, worried about our children. We came here. We want to live in peace. It's better than living in the war situation we were in. <laughs> they are the first of about 25 Syrian and Iraqi families expected to arrive in Rutland, Vermont by September. About 100 refugees in all. Rutland's mayor invited them to settle in his city around the same time then-candidate Donald Trump vowed, if elected, he'd stop the flow of refugees into the U.S and deport the ones already here. This is just plain the right thing to do from a compassionate and humanitarian perspective. But that's not the only reason the mayor is welcoming the refugees to his city. He's hoping they'll help revitalize it. The city of Rutland has suffered a major population loss, making it hard for big companies here to fill jobs. The mayor is hoping that Syrian refugees will not only add to the population, but also to the workforce. The unemployment rate here is about 3% dangerously low, says the mayor. We've got dozens, scores of employers in this community saying they've got hundreds of job openings they just can't fill. But now his whole plan to revive Rutland could be in jeopardy, pending an executive order from President Donald Trump. I think all of us have some fears about that. I think his concerns are misplaced. The security measures are in place for refugees, especially coming from Syria, will not put this community at risk. That's, that's a fact. It's a hot this couple is hosting the Syrian family until their apartment is ready. Do you wish that, that President Trump could meet the couple and the family that you now have in your home? I wish that anyone who thinks that it is a bad idea for them to come could just even take a little snapshot. They're wonderful people. They're not coming here to harm us. They're coming here to escape harm. Tim Cook, a doctor in town, says he doesn't want refugees settling in his city, not because he thinks they're dangerous, but because he thinks they'll end up costing taxpayers money. So are you saying the mayor and whoever decided that the refugees should come here got it all wrong? Yes, un 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 unequivocally. He says he fully supports President Trump's opposition to taking in refugees. I think we've done enough as a country. I'm tapped out, and this nation is tapped out. We need to fix our own problems first, and then we can, you know, reconfigure and see if we can rescue the rest of the world. This family says they're not worried about President Trump's plan. They feel safe and secure in Vermont already. I like Vermont and uh, we, uh, we Vermont. The people. Yes. They're very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, yes. <laughs> you might have to learn to ski. Uh, <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> I like the cellos. <laughs> yes, yes, I like skiing. <laughs> New sport. <laughs> New sport, yes, New sport yes, exactly. Yes, yes. One week. They hope it's only the beginning of their new life in the United States.